Yeah. So the question says, the molecular formula of serotonin a neurotransmitter associated with the feelings of well-being and happiness is C10H12N2O. What is its molecular formula given the atomic masses? Yeah. Okay. So the correct answer here is letter B. Okay. How did you solve this, guys? This is um, just calculating for the atomic weight or the molecular weight given the following atomic weights or atomic masses. Okay, so the solution, yeah, from the molecular formula C10H12N2O, where uh, there are 10 carbon atoms, 12 hydrogen atoms, and 2 nitrogen atoms, and 1 oxygen atoms. So, ang given na mo, um, atomic masses sa atin yung may decimal, di ba? Yung may point, point something. Pero we can just approximate because we need here, ang kailangan natin dito is to solve the problem the quickest way possible. Okay, and if you view the choices, the choices are um, not very um, close in terms of decimal. Okay, they are different pagdating dun sa ones and tens digits, but the decimal, they're all different. So, hindi natin uh, kailangan talaga yung decimal. So, we just um, approximate the values in terms of whole numbers, approximation. So, um, carbon has an atomic mass of 12, can approximate that uh, to 12. So, 10 times 12, 10 atoms times 12. Um, AMU per atom will give you 120 AMU. Hydrogen is 12 AMU, 12 atoms times 1, that will give you 12. Nitrogen is, uh, there are two nitrogens times 14 each, that will give you 28. And oxygen, one oxygen with 16 AMU per one oxygen. Okay, so uh, 16 AMU and then you add uh, all the sum, all the masses. So the sum would be 176 AMU. Okay, so um, note that AMU and grams per mole refers to the same quantity. Okay, they are just uh, molar masses or molecular weights. So um, yeah, 176 letter B. 176.215. Okay, so that's the answer, letter B. Okay, number two. In a reaction for aluminum plus three oxygen will give you two of aluminum oxide. So uh, the problem here is really dimensional analysis. Okay converting from one quantity to another, from grams to moles, and then from moles to grams. So ang given natin is mole ratio, we have three moles of oxygen is needed to produce two moles of Al2O3. So we have this mole ratio that is needed to convert from mole oxygen to moles of Al2O3. And aside from the mole ratio, we are also given the mole to mass ratio. If one mole of oxygen is 32 grams. So one mole of oxygen is 32 grams and one mole of Al2O3 is 102 grams. Okay, so what is, the question is what mass of uh, aluminum oxide is needed to produce 128 grams? So let's, uh, the answer is letter D. Let's take a look at the solution. Okay, so we are given the mole to mass ratio of oxygen is uh, 1 is to 32 and mole to mass ratio of aluminum uh, Al2O3 is 1 is to 102. The mole to mole ratio of oxygen and Al2O3 is 3 is to 2. So this whole problem here is about ratios now and conversion, dimensional analysis. So knowing these facts, um, we can get the mass of Al2O3 from the mass of oxygen. So we have 128 grams of oxygen. That's a problem, right? 128 grams. So we start with that and then uh, use dimensional analysis. So since we don't want grams, we want um, Al2O3. So our technique here is to convert uh, grams of oxygen into moles of oxygen and using the mole, molar ratio of oxygen and aluminum oxide, we can get the mole of aluminum oxide. That's the second term. And then from the mole of aluminum oxide, we can use the mole to mass ratio to get the mass or the grams of aluminum oxide. So yeah, 128 grams of oxygen times one mole of oxygen over 32 grams of uh, oxygen. So that's using the mole to mass ratio of oxygen. That is one is to 32. Okay, and then times two moles of Al2O3 over three moles of oxygen. So three moles of oxygen. Okay, that is uh, using the mole to mole ratio, which is three is to two. So three moles oxygen is two two moles of Al2O3. And then lastly the mole to mass ratio of Al2O3. Okay, that will give you 544. So this problem will test how well 
you can handle ratio and proportion and of course use dimensional analysis to get to your desired quantity number three the element philippinium fp is made up of two stable isotopes fp14 and fp15 so you fp14 has a mass of 14 amu and fp15 has a mass of 15 amu given philippinium's atomic weight of 14.0067 what is the percent abundance of each isotope? Okay, so let's uh, take a look. How do we solve this problem? Take a look at the solution. Yeah, and so um, the average atomic weight of an element is the weighted sum of the mass of each isotope. So we're given only the mass of each isotope, diba? Right? FP14 is 14 and FP15 is 15. We don't know their relative abundance. We don't know their percent abundance. So let's say uh, X... X is the fraction of um, FP14 present in nature. So that's uh, the fraction that is the abundance of FP14. So if um, the fraction of FP14 is X, then for FP15, that would be 1 minus X. Okay, diba? So since fraction, sipping you one whole, okay, X is the fraction for 14. Siyempre yung natira, which is 1 minus X, that would be the fraction for 15. And if you um, weigh the sum, okay, the weighted sum, so that's 14 times x plus 15 times 1 minus x, the answer would be the average atomic weight, okay? So the weighted average, kumbaga, 14.0067. So this is the algebraic equation that you need to set up in order to solve this problem. If you, can't, if you don't know how to set this up, of course, you don't know how to answer. You can't answer the rest of the problem, so it's very crucial to know how to set up weighted average problems, okay? So simplifying, 14x plus 15 minus 15x is equal to 14.0067. So that would give you 14x minus 15x is negative x. And then you transpose 15 to the other side. That would give you, again, that would give you 14.0067 minus 15. So x would be 0.9933. X is 0.9933. Therefore, FP14 has an abundance of, in terms of percent, so this is decimal, diba? In terms of percent, how do we convert from decimal to percent? Just move the decimal places two times. Okay, so one, two to the right, that will give us 99.3. 33 or 3%. Okay, while that of 15, FP15 has an abundance of, of course, 100 minus 99.3% or 0.7%. Okay, letter B. Okay, FP14 is 99.3%. FP15 is 0.7%. My gets by, and how do we, uh, how to um, set up weighted average questions? And of course, uh, solving particular examples in, uh, with, uh, ito, mga isotopes problems. Okay, so, pag may mga percent abundance, yung mga percent abundance, this is how you do this one, okay, in chemistry. Okay, let's go to question number four. Okay, the World Health Organization dictates that the maximum arsenic concentration in drinking water should be 10 micrograms per liter. What is the maximum mass of arsenic in a 50 ml water for it to be safe, safe, safe for consumption? So is it A, 5 times 10 to the negative 5 grams, B, 5 times 10 to the negative 6, C, 5 times 10 to the negative 7, or D, 5 times 10 to the negative 8. So the answer here is letter C, 5 times 10 to the negative 7. How do we answer that? Let's take a look at the solution. Okay, so the concentration, yeah, if the concentration of water is equal to the World Health Organization limit of 10 micrograms per liter, then the mass of arsenic in a 50 ml water is, you just have to multiply them, okay? Since 10 micrograms per liter in 50 ml, so you just have to multiply them para makuha mo yung grams, di ba? But uh, 50 ml is equal to 0 0.050 liters. Kailangan the same yung units nila so that it will cancel. Okay, same units. So that would be um, 0 0.050 times 10. That will give us 0 0.5, di ba? Pero this is in terms of micrograms, okay? And the choices are in grams. How do we convert? 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 6 grams in terms of uh, to the correct um, 
scientific notation. Okay, so that would be 5 times 10 to the negative 7. Uh, meron akong 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 6 grams, di ba? So, in, para ang kailangan kasi sa scientific notation, di ba guys, kailangan yung um, number, whole number, or yung number before dun sa times 10 is dapat greater than 1. So, hindi pwede yung 0 0.5. Dapat greater than 1 but less than 10. Okay? So, kailangan mo siyang i-move. Uh, kung i-imagine nyo times 10 to the negative 6, this is decimal siya, di ba? So, if you convert this 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 6, kailangan mag-move siya to the left. So, 0 0.0006 times to the left. Five. So, in order for this number to have a correct scientific notation, kailangan natin i-move yung decimal place isa pa. Sige. 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 6. Ganyan siya, diba? So, in terms of um, scientific notation, dapat less, greater than 1. To, in this case, less than 1 siya, so hindi pwede. So, what we can do is move the decimal place to the right, and then kailangan mo siyang i-minus 1 dito. So, negative 6 minus 1, that will be negative 7. Okay. So, that is our answer. 5 times 10 to the negative 7. 5 times 10 to the negative 7. So, ganun din. For example, positive to, positive, positive 6 yan. Okay, not 0 0.5 times 10 to the 6. So, how do we make it, okay, um, 0 0.5 times 10 to the 6? How do we make this the correct um, scientific notation? So, 0 0.5 times 10 to the 6. Yan. So, kailangan nyo lang siyang Move to the right. Okay. Times it to the 6, big sabihin move to the right. Pero in this case, minus 1 pa rin siya. Minus 1. So, magiging 5 times 10 to the 5. Okay. So, laging minus 1 when you're moving to the right. Okay. Clear ba yun? Okay. Minus 1. So, this one, negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7. So, it's always uh, minus 1. Pero what if, let's say 50. Yan. 50 times 10 to the 6. How do we make this the correct, how do we write this to be the correct um, scientific notation? So, since the decimal place dito is after the zero, we need to move it to the left. Okay, so dapat plus one na siya. Okay, plus one. If it's to the left. So, 5.0 times 10 to the 7 na ngayon. Okay, kuha ba yun? So, when you're moving to the left, to the left, okay, so plus one, and to the right, that is minus one. So, ganun yung rule.